by mom's cases um, within our health unit district uh, with an average age of 20 uh, years and primarily males. More recently, younger teenagers are becoming ill with the mumps. Until this year, we have only had one case in the last 10 years. The present cases are in West Nipissing and at Nipissing University and Canada College. The province is also seeing an increasing number of cases and there have been a total of about 60 to date. Those at greatest risk of getting mumps are teens and young adults. Preventing mumps is important and it can make people very ill and lead to significant complications. In addition to having a fever, cold-like symptoms, and painful salivary glands, and having to isolate yourself for nine days, complications may include painful and swollen testicles, which rarely can lead to sterility, meningitis and encephalitis, hearing loss, and also miscarriages during the first three months of pregnancy. Mumps is an infection of the salivary glands that is caused by a virus, and it spreads easily uh, through the exchange of saliva, or coughing or sneezing. It is spread from person to person when infected saliva or droplets enter a person's mouth or nose, as I said, from a sneeze or cough. Other activities such as sharing drinks, which you may see in sports uh, events and uh, sports teams, food, cigarettes, musical instruments, or kissing the affected person may also spread the virus. You are most infective up to nine days after the onset of symptoms, and you must remain isolated for those nine days. There is no treatment for mumps. To prevent the spread of the disease to others, you have to wash your hands frequently and avoid sharing personal items that come into contact with saliva. Additionally, ensure that you have received two doses of the mumps vaccine to reduce your risk of infection. The health unit advises anyone with the following symptoms to isolate themselves and contact their health care profession, professional immediately. If you have a fever, swelling and tenderness of the salivary glands, it could be one side of the face or both. If you have headache, cold-like symptoms, and males that may have swollen and tender testicles. All children in Ontario are recommended to receive two doses of the mumps, usually coming in what we call the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. If you're born between 1970 and 1992, you may have received only one dose. Call your health care provider to get your catch-up mumps vaccination. 